Hallelujah, lift him higher in one accord, for he alone is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah, from the rising of the sun to the going of the sail, he is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah, at this time, let us all unite in prayer. In Jesus' name, hallelujah, Father God, Heavenly Father, our King and our righteous King, we give you thanks, Almighty God, for this privilege, for this honor to be to your courts another time, to lift you up, to magnify you, to praise you, God Almighty, to lift you up, God. I pray tonight as we gather, I pray that you will wash us, cleanse us, sanctify us, purge us from every unrighteousness and everything which is not of you. God, I pray that you create in us a clean heart when you arise. Within us. God, I pray in the name of Jesus that self be completely slain and that your Holy Spirit will take over. I pray, God Almighty, that you'll have thy own way tonight. God Almighty, whatever we do, whatever we say, God, I pray that you receive glory. Lord, we welcome you in this place tonight, Almighty God. Let your Shekinah glory fill this house, God. Let your power fall in this place tonight, God Almighty. I pray even for the proceeding of all service we pray God as you touch our elders, the ministers, the musicians, the brethren, those online, God Almighty. I pray that you touch them tonight, God. I pray that you break through, God Almighty. Bring down every barrier, every stronghold. God Almighty, everything in the atmosphere which is not of you, we crap that paralyzed in the name of Jesus. Lord, and we claim victory tonight. We claim breakthrough, deliverance, and a revival. God Almighty, Jesus, be in control tonight, God. And let thy perfect will be done as we look to your tell you thanks in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise God tonight. I do honor the Holy Spirit of God greeting each and every one. Praise God, Ella Hidden. Praise God, Deacon Brown, Evangelist Brown. Praise God, all protocols observed. Praise God. I greet you all in Jesus' name. We begin by singing hymn number 12 from our Pentecostal hymnal. We have an anchor, praise God. Praise this morning. With your anchor hold in the storms of life. When the clouds unfold their wings of strife. When the strong tides zip and the cables swing. With your anchor drift or firm. Keep the word to you. Will your anchor hold in the storms of life when the clouds on their wings of strife when the frost has and the cable strain will your anchor drift for first Thank you. 
different day of thee. My God, your hand over printed by the powers tonight. So subdue, Lord, counter our defeat. Hallelujah. Never turn tonight. My God, move in a special way. My God, hallelujah. Be at the console tonight. Time in the name of Jesus Christ. Get your glory. Get your praise tonight. Touch, my God. Hallelujah. Bring your brothers tonight. Apply your blood and fish to us. Your blood and fish to mind. Your blood in the atmosphere tonight. My God, the blood that never loses power. I bring your strength from day to day. That blood that reads last mountain. It's a fight tonight. You did it with me. Oh, God, touch tonight. Touch, Lord. Move, uplift, revive, strengthen, my God. Hallelujah. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, speak to us tonight. Move in a special way. Get your glory. Get your praise tonight. My God, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, all the praise belongs to thee. All the honor belongs to thee. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All the glory belongs to thee. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your care. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your compassion. Hallelujah. We thank you for the God you are. Lord God. Hallelujah. The God of all gods and the Lord of Lords. Oh God. Bring your brothers together at a time. Touch every condition. Hallelujah. Touch every situation. Tonight, my God, we need it from the sanctuary. Lord, we are weak. Hallelujah. Of the one strong and mighty. Lord God, the God of the Lord Hallelujah. The God who specializes. The one who works on the impossible. Lord God, bless us tonight. The remark in the way. Oh God, get your glory. Give your praise tonight. Just put every situation in your hands. Stop your way. Take the control, Lord God. And we look to right now. And we will come to my God with a great and the deliverance in the facts. In Jesus' name. Praise in Jesus' name. Praise God. Jesus' name. Praise God tonight. Our night's lesson will be coming from the book of First Samuel chapter 30. The book of First Samuel chapter 30. Reading from verse 1 to 19. Praise God. Praise First Samuel chapter 19. I've seen everybody. But it is so the reading of God's word. Praise his name. And I begin thus. And it came to pass when David and his men were come to Ziklag on the third day that the Amalekites had invaded the south and Ziklag had sinned Ziklag and burned it with fire. And had taken women captives that there that there were there that were therein, they slew not any, neither great nor small, but carried them away and went on their way. So David and his men came to the city, and behold, it was burnt with fire, and their wives and their sons and their daughters were taken captives. Then David and the people that were with him lifted up their voice and wept until they had no more power to weep. And David's two wives were taken captive among him up, the Zezranites and Abigail, the wife of Neba, the Carmelites. And David was greatly distressed for the people's sake of stoning him, because the souls of all the people were grieved, every man for his sons and for his daughters. But David encouraged himself in the Lord his son. And David said to Abithar, the priest, Amalek's son, I pray thee, bring me hither the ephod. And Abithar brought thither the ephod to David. And David inquired at the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue after this troop? Shall I overtake them? And he answered him, Pursue, for thou shalt over surely overtake them, and without fear recover all. So David went, he and his 600 men that were with him, and came to the brook Beshore, where those that were left behind stayed. But David pursued he and 400 men, for 200 aboard behind, which were so faint that they could not go over the brook Beshore. And they found an Egyptian in the field, and brought him to David, and gave him bread, and he did eat, and they made him drink water. And they gave him a piece of cake of face and two clusters of raisins. And when he had eaten, his spirit came again to him. For he had given no bread nor drink, drunk any water three days and three nights. And David said unto him, To whom belongest thou, 
and whence art thou? And he said, I am a young man of Egypt, servant of Amalek, and my master left me because left me because three days ago I fell sick. We made an invasion upon the south of the Cherites, and upon the coast which belonged to Judea, and upon the south of Caleb, and we burned Ziklag with fire. And David said to him, Canst thou bring me down to this company? And he said, Swear unto me by God that thou wilt neither kill me nor deliver me into the hand of my master, and I will bring thee down to this company. And when he had brought him down, behold, they were spread abroad upon the earth, eating and drinking and dancing because of all the great spoil that had taken out of the land of the Philistine and out of the land of Judah. And David smote them from the twilight even unto the evening of the next day. And there escaped not a man of them, save four hundred young men which rode upon camels and fled. And David recovered all that the Ammonites had carried away, and David rescued his two wives, 19 and ending. And there was nothing lacking to them, neither shall small, neither small nor great, neither sons nor daughter, neither spoils nor anything that they had taken to them, David recovered all. Oh, praise God here and another portion of God's soul. Or God promised that his richest blessings there on to praise God. Shall we praise the Lord, everybody? Praise the Lord. Shall we praise the Lord, everybody? Praise the Lord. Praise God. Just look at somebody, praise, praise God, and tell them, praise God, recover it all. Praise, praise God. Praise God. Look at somebody else and tell them, recover it all. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Welcome, praise God, to the first of three nights of our meeting. Praise God. We are our feet. Is operation restoration moving forward? Praise God. Can we stand and just repeat the team? Operation restoration moving forward. Praise God. After two, one, two. Operation restoration moving forward. Praise God. We're moving forward in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Wherefore. Tis Jehovah's will for the pillows and chances. But with a concrete trade, we will push ahead and roll the seas away. Yeah. <laughs> 
can't complain. Yes, praise God. We're just working all right today. We're going to start a phone call. But they didn't come as this time. When I got the call, you know what? Notice something. No, I was just saying to her that what are you doing in this life? Don't do it because you feel like someone around you. You feel like you are doing it. Do it because you are right. Don't let what you're going through or what you face or what someone says turn you. Way out to serve God. You serve God based on what you say. Amen. And everything will just work itself out. I'm just giving God the night. Giving God thanks for the night. I mean, just to give you some just to worship and to magnify his name. I should have been dead. It's not even of any good that I have done. Amen. It's not because I eat right or because I walk skillfully. It's only because of the mercies of God. And I'm just giving God thanks. Be in this house one more time. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. 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 Praise the Lord, everybody. Shall we praise the Lord, everybody? Praise His holy name. Praise God. You may be seated. 
praise his holy name. We give our thanks, praise God, for each and every one that have gathered, praise God, here and online, praise God. We have a few ministers, praise God, online, praise God, inland and overseas, praise God, praise God. We'll get to some of the ministers. I know that Pastor Barbara Mans is there, praise God. A few brethren from Headquarters Church, praise God, from Faith House in Toronto, praise God. We greet you all, praise God, in the name of Jesus, praise God, in-house. We have Ella Helena, praise God, glad to have you with us, praise God, God bless you, God bless you, praise God. We have Deacon Sergio and two of the brethren from King River, praise God, in the house, praise his holiness. King River, just stand and shout, hallelujah, praise his holy name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, God bless you, King River, praise God. We have a few brethren, praise God, from Windsor Lodge, praise God, with us, praise God. Praise God, get the brethren from Windsor Lodge, jump up and shout, hallelujah, praise God. We have praise God, evangelist stores online, praise God, both doors, praise God, evangelist Charlie Doss and evangelist Lanny O'Neill Doss, praise God, Pastor Barbara Miles, praise God, Bishop Lillian Johnson, praise God, online, Pastor Beverly Black, praise God, bless you all in Jesus' name, praise God. We're going to take a quick bunch, praise God, greeting, praise God, from Ella Hayden, praise God. Shall we all stand everywhere, praise God, and receive Ella Hayden as you come to greet us and see what the Lord has laid on his heart in Jesus' name. Praise God. Praise the Lord, everybody. All eyes, praise the people. All eyes, praise one more time. We shout in the praise one more time. Amen. Bless God. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Bless God. Honoring the presence of Almighty God this evening. Praise God. You can be seated. Acknowledging, praise God, my own apostle, Apostle Dr. G.W. Johnson, also Bishop Lyndon Johnson, and as Evangelist Martin had mentioned, praise God, before, because I'm not seeing everyone. And then that's of Pastor Barbara Miles, praise God, also Pastor Black, and also the Fatos family, praise God. Brethren that are in house this evening, greetings in the name of Jesus, praise God. And then tonight, the God, is the beginning, praise God, of what we would theme, praise God, restoration, praise God. Operation Restoration going forward. Praise the name of Jesus. We have been brought into the kingdom for such a time as this, praise God. Everything, praise God, around us is given way. The writer declares through the song, he said, when all around my soul gives way, even then is my hope and say. Everything is given way, but there is a plan, praise God, as we use in our youth week, in, 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 in March, praise God, that there is a plan, praise God. God has a plan. And tonight that plan is to restore that which was lost. God bless you tonight, brethren, as we lift up the blood stained banner high in Jesus' name. <laughs> All the songs will soon be over when we are done. Oh, 
tonight my soul was magnified God when I think of his love when I think of his goodness glory hallelujah tonight my God I take very green in um and I hear no ministers tonight you should want to get your name of Jesus I just want to thank God for the God of peace you look at my heart it's so glorious hallelujah ah yeah. Yes, sir. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Have a son of praise. Glory to God. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Everybody. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Operation. Restoration, moving yes, forward. Yes, we have to plunge into action. Yes, Praise God. You're starting our moment, moment. Yes, but we have to plunge in action. Praise in the name of Jesus. I'm so glad to be here in the first night of feast. Now, though I got to see everybody, but elder. In the name of Christ, God, all get to run. You know, he was going to my mind regular, and I said, Lord, God, when I'm going to see right. the man of God, right. is a man that fights for survival, right. and is a man that easily right. give up. Let us plunge into our side right. and fight the good fight of him. In hard or cold, they hold and turn their life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't lift your hands to me. Don't lift your hands to me tonight. All in. King Jesus. All hail. Emmanuel. Kings of kings, Lord of lords, bright morning star. And throughout eternity, I'm gonna praise Him. Lord of Lord, bright morning. 
Tonight. Greeting our host, Pastor Hayden tonight, Evangelist Hayden tonight, other ministers. Bless the name of Jesus. Bishops and line, pastors and line, ministers are here. Minister Matno from Windsor Lodge. Bless the name of Jesus. Juna Brown, she's here. Juna Brown, Juna Miss Michelle Brown from Windsor Lodge. Saints from Windsor Lodge. Ken River. Even here tonight, each and every one, I just want to greet you in the matchless name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. You know, the thing about it, when we talk about operation, That's right. we are no ordinary military officers. That's right. That's right. Bless the name of Jesus. I could remember one man, Nehemiah, when he was going to build back Jerusalem, bless the name of Jesus. He tell no one what he was going to do. Bless God, and he went. But there was a poor man in the way trying to stop him on the way. Some ballot and to fire. Lord God Almighty, every time the children of God set out to do one thing, some ballot and to fire to buy a stop in the way. But I hear the word of God say, Upon this rock, I will build my church. As the gates of hell shall not prevail against you. Bless the name of Jesus. You know, I'm so glad to be here tonight. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. I didn't come here to have this tonight. I come with a little small token. But there's a little much when God is in it. Yes, um, Elohim, on behalf of Pastor Wallace, um, Assistant Francis, Pastor Francis, bless me, Ministers and Saints of the Winter Lodge Apostolic Service. We just want to present this little love of me to you. May God bless you and strengthen you on this journey. Lord Jesus, I remember. Let me tell you something. God work must be done. When, 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 when we think the enemy say, all right, you put a break here. God said, no, the church of be ruled on. Glory to God. God bless you, sir. God bless you, sir. God bless you. God bless you. Oh, my God. 
may be seated to God, thank you. Honor to God. Thanking Him for mercy, love, and grace. I be to all our bishops, apostles, all the brethren online tonight, and salute you, Jesus' name. Reach to our elder grace, God, and all the ministers. And the platform of the brethren from near and far, or unsafe loved ones, I greet you, children. Amen. The ushers and musicians, God bless you tonight. God bless you tonight. Whatever you need tonight, it is in your praise. Whatever you come for tonight, it is in your praise. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Yeah, bless the Lord. I just want to make a quick apology, sir, for Assistant Pastor C. Francis. He's not able to make it to me because of circumstances. I also want to greet. I can't let out my wife. I can't let out my wife. Where she is? Where she is? Where she is? Where she is? Where's Sister Christy? Where's Sister Christy? Bless the name of Jesus. Jesus. Lord. She's on the old side. She's sitting right here. Right there. That's right. Here's that road back here. God bless you. God bless you. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. The Lord is good. God is good. Praise God. The operation, the restoration started Sunday night. It started Sunday night with one person, praise God. Walking in just for prayer. And after the prayer, praise God, the unsaved man walking in for prayer. And after he walked in for prayer, the Holy Ghost took over. Sister Rockland got the Holy Ghost on that same night. And God took over in this place Sunday night, praise God. We couldn't get to do nothing. We just had to just this this service right now, praise God. And I'm expecting God to do something Miraculous through the course of this. Anybody believe with me? You want to lift those hands? Anybody want to shout a praise? Believe in Hallelujah! 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 Hallelujah. We come with an expectation. Come into His presence with that giving. Into His courts with praise. Look over to somebody and say, we come to worship. Praise God. We come to worship. Praise God. Say, so somebody beside you getting a little bit lazy, just touch them and say, we come to worship. Praise His holy name. If somebody beside you is a bit lazy, just change your position. Praise God. Hallelujah. Because we come to worship the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise God. We come to have a wonderful time in the morning. Praise God. At this time, I want to collect our night's suffering. Don't have so much to come forward in Jesus' name. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God.
God, as your children extend, Lord, your substance, Lord, for the building of your work. Lord Almighty God, I pray that you'll breathe upon this offering, sanctify, Lord, help, Lord, and as we go forward, God Almighty, to be used for the furtherance of your work. These mercies we pray and we ask in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, you be seated, praise the Lord. And this time we're going to take an online greeting, praise God, from Evangelist Lanyoville, God's praise God, praise God. And also followed after Evangelist Lanyoville, God's, I'm going to ask Bishop Lynette Johnson, praise God, to greet us, praise God, in Jesus' name. So at this time, Evangelist Lanyoville, God's, praise God, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Okay, praise God. Bishop Lyndon Johnson is he here? God bless you. God bless you. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Are you hearing me? Praise the Lord, we're hearing you. God bless you. God bless you. I'd like you to greet Elder Lady and his wife and our moderator, Evangelist Martin, and all the other ministers. I'd like to greet you in the awesome and the powerful name of Jesus. I'm asking you to excuse my black screen tonight, but I'd like to congratulate you on your sixth anniversary, church anniversary. Uh, we know that God is with you. Uh, we're here this week um, to worship with you, and I'd like to bring you greetings on behalf of Apostle and Presiding Bishop, Dr. G.W. Johnson, and the entire Apostolic Ark family. God is an awesome God. 
And for that, we're giving him all the praise and the honor that's due unto his name. God bless you. God bless you as we worship together. Let me first greet the most absent, the presiding bishop, bishop of this noble organization, Apostle Dr. G. W. Johnson, and to Bishop Lyndon Johnson, and to all the other ministers online, uh, Pastor Thompson from uh, the Faith Apostolic in New Jersey, to Pastors Gail. Miles and Barneswell and Black, God bless you. Also, so our saints from Calgary and to Minister Fletcher, God bless you. It is good to join into your meeting this night tonight and also to congratulate Pastor Hayden and Evangelist Hayden on the work that you guys are doing over there in Bull Bay. And uh, to your theme, what a, what, a, what a timely theme. It says Oper Operation Restoration. And it is quite interesting that in a time when we're recovering from some stuff, Operation Restoration, and you said it well, the operation has already started, the restoration had started with souls coming to the kingdom of God. We are happy to hear the report over there. And also let me greet our evangelist, uh, Shani Dawes, your speaker for tonight, and uh, wish you all well in this meeting. God bless you. Praise God. Thank you, praise God, for that greeting. Praise his holy name, his children standing over here. Children, lift your hands and go ahead and just give up for this. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, we thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for he's worthy to be praised. He's exalted above all our praise. He's worthy, the Lord our God. Praise God, you may be seated. Praise God, we're going to put on the preacher shortly. Praise God, hallelujah, Jesus. Praise his holy name. Six years, praise God, since we have been on this ground. And the Lord has kept us, praise God, and we are rejoicing. And giving God thanks, praise God, for carrying us thus far, praise God. And we know by his grace, by his mercy, praise God, we have a lot more to go, praise God. In Jesus' name, praise God. If when you kiss, the baby of your service, Tell it in the world that the Savior is come. Be not dismayed when mentors believe you. If when you kill the best of your service, tell it the world that the Savior is come. Be not dismayed. The Savior of sinners hang on the cross. He was adored this night. Oh, here in Father in heaven. 
Praise God. I pray that in prayer, oh, praise God. As she minister the word of God to you, ladies and gentlemen, at this time, I present to you Evangelist Sharni Doss. Praise God and the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, praise God. Evangelist Sharni Doss. In Jesus' name. Bless the name of the Lord. Can we praise the Lord? Can we praise the name of the Lord? Can we lift up the name of the Lord Jesus another time? Hallelujah! Glory! Hallelujah! The Lord, oh, praise the Lord, he is worthy. Glory God to be praised, may be seated in the house tonight. Bless God, greetings to Apostle Johnson and Pastor Gloria Johnson tonight, to Bishop Lyndon Johnson, praise God, to our host pastor and his lovely wife, Pastor Hayden. Praise God to my parents, Bishop and Pastor Gail, who are on the line tonight with the brethren um, of Faith House, and to my husband, Evangelist Lannyville Dawes, you heard him speak earlier, praise God, and to all the ministers and brethren tonight, please accept holy greetings in the wonderful name of Jesus. We have brethren joining us from Calgary, Alberta, from New Jersey, praise God, and from Faith House, and just giving God thanks that you are are with us tonight and i'm just praying that you will worship and continue to worship god with us praise god in the word i'm giving god thanks tonight saints that i can be a part of this service tonight uh enjoying and worshiping with you and celebrating the six years of pastoral anniversary for Pastor and Evangelist Hayden, along with the house of refuge church in bull bay and when i look at the theme that was given to us for the next few days. I said, God, you are definitely about to do a work, praise God. Operation about to do a work. And I pray that someone's heart and mind is set in this, it, it set in this attitude as we go forward, brethren, because this is a, a, a theme, brethren, that God is going to shift and do some things in Bull Bay. And I'll be honest with you, when I began to uh, seek the <laughs> Lord and began to say, God, where are we going with this message? The one thing the Lord kept on saying, you know, in my spirit, and I kept on writing it over, over and over again, was the backsliders of Bull Bay. Uh, praise God, the backsliders of Bull Bay. I don't know, praise God Almighty, what is about to happen, but I know something indeed is going to happen. I don't know how he's going to do it, I should say, but something is about to happen. I believe the presence of God is about to shift some things. Praise God. Tonight, the scripture saints is taken from first Samuel chapter 30 verse 1 uh, through to about 18 and 19 well technically the end but I want us to focus tonight on verses 1 through verse 10 um, I'm just here to to lay what the Lord has given me and I know that the preachers who are coming along with me this week that the Lord will put everything together by the time we close out this uh, days of service that of course your soul will be blessed praise God in Jesus name First uh, Samuel chapter 30 turn your Bibles with me just quickly there I just want to read uh, verse 1 through 10 for those who may have joined us a little bit later and it says this and it came to pass when David and his men were come to Ziklag on the third day that the Amalekites had invaded the south and Ziklag had, and smitten Ziklag and burned it with fire and had taken the women captive that were therein they slew not any either great or small but carried them away and went on their way so David and his men came to the city and behold, it was burnt with fire and their wives and their sons and their daughters were taken captives. Then David and the people that were with him lifted up their voice and wept until they had no more power to weep. And so it says here that David's two wives were taken captives. And verse six says, and David was greatly distressed for the people spake of stoning him because the soul of all the people was grieved. Every man for his son, he was grieved for his son and grieved for his daughters. But David, thank you, God, encouraged himself in the Lord is God. I pray the pastors are listening tonight. David 
encouraged himself, praise God, in the Lord his God. And David said to Abiathar the priest, Ahimelech's son, I pray thee, bring me hither the ephod. And Abiathar brought hither the ephod to David. And David inquired at the Lord, saying, verse 8, shall I pursue after this troop? Shall I overtake them? And he answered, and he answered him, pursue, for thou shalt surely overtake them. Thank you, God. And without fail, recover all. And so David, he and the 600 men that were with him came to the brook Besor, where those that were left behind stayed. But David pursued. He and 400 men for 200 abode behind, which were so faint that they could not go over the brook Besor. I want to add one more scripture tonight before we pray. First Peter 5 and verse 10. I'm going to read it from the NIV version tonight. And here's what it says. And the God of all grace, who called you to his eternal glory in Christ, after you have suffered a little while, thank you, Jesus, will himself restore you and make you strong firm and steadfast. Can you bow your heads with me? Praise God in the house online. Praise God. I pray that some ministers are going to pray and praise God. Preach with me tonight. Righteous and eternal Father God, we thank you tonight. We thank you, oh Father God Almighty, for the service. We thank you for six years, oh Father God of ministry, six years, oh God Almighty, of pastoral work, oh God. We thank you, oh God Almighty, for the house of refuge. And dear Lord God Almighty, I know that, oh God, that with you all things are possible. And without you, oh Father God, that I am nothing. And although, oh God, this Distance, oh God, is here among us tonight. Oh God, we pray that the power of the Holy Ghost, oh bless the name of Jesus, the anointing of God will sit, oh Father God, upon us. Oh God, speak, oh God Almighty, through me, dear Lord God. Let no words be of my own. Oh God Almighty, oh God, change if you've got to change, shift if you've got to shift, oh God. But I pray that someone's heart and someone's mind, oh God Almighty, will be stirred, oh dear Lord Jesus. Ignite something, oh Father God Almighty. Ignite an attitude and passion in your people tonight, dear Lord God. Let your whole Holy Ghost, oh glory be to God. Sit with us, oh dear Lord God Almighty. Let your kind of glory, oh Father God Almighty, move among us, dear Lord God. Let someone cry out, hallelujah, tonight. Oh glory be to God that I yield, I yield, oh Father God. Stay with us tonight, dear Lord God Almighty. We ask, oh God, these tender mercies in Jesus' name. Bless the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. If you are familiar with the story of David, you, you, you quickly note that we are in a time when David is still on the run from King Saul. David is an anointed king. He's been positioned by God, yet he's on the run. And David has, you know, just tried making an alliance with the Philistines and it did not work. If you remember from Sunday school, David killed a Philistine and named Goliath. And so they didn't trust him. And so David returns back to Ziklag where he was temporarily staying. And the Bible tells us that when he returns to Ziklag, the village, the city that he is staying in, where all of his uh, soldiers and his family live, it's torn down. In fact, it's burnt down in such a way that there is nothing, brethren, that is recoverable amongst the rubble. And, and to make matters worse, the women and the children were gone. The Bible says and that they were were taken captive and so the natural response is alive in the scripture tonight brethren they wept until they could weep no more they were lost in the capacity uh, of their grieving they were lost in in everything that was happening the emotion of of losing your loved one the emotion of seeing that person walk away the emotion of seeing that person backslide the emotion of just not being whole as you once were and so you have to understand brethren that when david returned although they he realized that his family was taken he had to get himself out of the natural sense 
peace and begin to see this, praise God, as an act of war, that this was an attack on his family, an attack on his village, an attack on his kingship, an attack on the kingdom that God has given into his hand. And when we begin to shift our mindset as people of God, when we are in loss, praise God, we begin to change our attitude and we begin to work with what the Lord has given us as a mission and vision. Uh, the Bible tells us, saints of God, that the devil comes to steal and to kill and to destroy. And he wants the people of God to live in a defeated attitude. He wants the people of God, when pain is there, when there's loss there, he wants to inflict not just the immediate pain. He wants to inflict long-term pain. Think about it, saints of God, when your husband walks away from the ministry, when your children backslide, when you begin to lose some things in your life, there is an immediate pain. <laughs> A, a long-term pain that is there and the enemy has a plan saints of God to inflict pain on the the children of God that would cause you that would cause me to live in a defeated attitude when I think about brethren, I think about this 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 story the Bible tells me that it was the Amalekites my God people who should not even exist my God are people who should not even have anything to do my God am I with the children of Israel the Amalekites who Saul should have slain my God Almighty were the ones who came in and destroyed the camp of David and as I began to look at this it clearly stated to me that there are some people brethren there are some connections that we have in our lives. There are some people that we have in our lives that have a tendency, my God Almighty, they have an attitude of destruction. They have the mindset of destruction. They mean you no good. They are not there to build you up. They're not there to make a change in your life, but they're there to pull down. In fact, they're doing the devil's work. They're there to steal. They are there to kill, and they are there to destroy. And so, brethren, there are people just like the Amalekites that we have got to shift out of our lives because the minute they step back in they're there to take they're there to break down they're there to break down our families they're there to break down my god the assembly but as men and women of god when the enemy comes in like a flood the word of god says we as the people of god have got to lift up a standard and so david in this situation saints of god the women of god are taken captive the, the children that they have been blessed with, the future has been taken captive. When David yes. recognizes that the enemy is playing a mind game, David says, my God, although they are weeping, I'm going to encourage myself. They want to kill me, but I want to encourage myself. They say that I preach the gospel too hard, but I'm going to encourage myself. Pastor Hayden, it's your church anniversary. And they may say that, you know, things are so strict at the house of refuge because you stick to the principles of God. My God, do not leave my God Almighty, the old landmark, stick to the principle because the enemy has a way of playing a mind game that says the reason that they're leaving is because of this and the leaving, the reason why they're leaving is because of that or the reason why they won't come is because of this or the reason why they aren't coming is because of that. Listen to me, saints of God, house of refuge. You have a very unique name. My God Almighty, and I pray you recognize this weekend if no other weekend. Why God has placed you, my God Almighty, in Bube, you are a house of refuge. And when you begin to go into operation restoration, <laughs> you have to recognize that the operation of restoration cannot, almighty, it cannot happen until you enter operation recover. And so we have got to get past the mind game of the enemy. My God almighty, that he has placed around the people of God. That poor me, my family just can't be saved. Oh no, we are going on operation restoration. My God almighty, this weekend we are going in to recover. We are going in to restore. We are going to set our vision straight this weekend. My God, the emotions may cloud our vision and emotion has a way of clouding the vision. But we have to walk according to the mission that God has given us. We can't allow saints. We can't allow. We cannot allow the enemy to walk into our lives. Cause havoc. 
and pretend as if we're not the children of the living God. We, we can't allow the enemy to walk into our lives and begin to rip our lives apart. And we're just at the altar saying, poor me, poor I. We are part of the army of the living God. Listen, operation restoration, operation recover is about to happen, saints of God. In the natural world, in an army, when a soldier is taken captive by the enemy, my God Almighty, help me tonight. They're called the prisoners of war. When a soldier is taken captive, they're called the prisoners of war. And the army that they belong to has to make a rescue attempt because they are one of them. I pray if somebody understands that tonight. The army they belong to has to make a rescue attempt before the army changes position past the hidden, before the army moves forward. It is the army's obligation to make a rescue attempt. And so armies have a mantra in the natural that no man shall be left behind. I would to God, the saints of God will get into an attitude. We move into a, praise God, a spirit of understanding that no man shall be left behind. I'm not leaving my sister behind. I'm not leaving my husband behind. I'm not leaving my God Almighty, my children behind. I'm not leaving my cousin behind. They may not want Jesus, but I won't stop praying. They may not want God, but I won't stop praying. They may not see the need for God, but I won't won't stop praying. No man should be left behind. This is the army of the living God. And I hear the songwriter preach and sing, brethren, that we should rescue the perishing. We should care for the dying. I heard another songwriter tell us, brethren, that there were 99 that were safely laid in the shelter of the fold and one of them was out on the field far away my god almighty and what did the songwriter say that god almighty said shall i not leave the 90 and the nine and go and rescue the one operation recovery operation restoration we're talking about shifting our mindset no man no man shall be left behind brethren almighty we're going with a different mindset into the community that no man should be left behind the, the mission and the vision of the church is clear mark chapter 15 if you don't know it it says that we should go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature and he that believeth Brethren, and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. And Jesus Christ himself actually gives the direction. And he states in another scripture in Luke 19, he says this verse 10, the son of man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. So it's telling us as a people of God that there's an active, an active brethren mission and there is a clear vision and many of us like David have experienced loss and pain but Pastor Hayden as the shepherd of the house of refuge I'm here to remind you tonight do not lose sight of the mission for the ministry do not lose sight house of refuge to the calling of God on Bull Bay do not lose sight of why your name is the house of refuge I know that we want to jump to verse 18. I'm leaving verse 18 and 19 for the other preachers tonight. I'm here to set your mindset that we're going to go into, uh, we're going to go into operation restoration. I'm here to set your mindset tonight that I'm going to go with the intention to pursue, bless the name of the Lord. If we come back to the scripture, saints of God, the Bible tells us that David gathers himself as the leader and the king and as a shepherd. And although everybody blamed him and were ready to stone him, David, like many pastors, had to rise above the emotion and begin to look at the vision and the mission. David recognizes that the enemy has taken his family, taken the young people, taken the women, and that he's attacking the future of the kingdom. And David has to now encounter a process of restoration and recovery. And three things begin to happen in the scripture that if you mark them down tonight, I know it will come again in, in, the, in the coming nights, but it says three things begin to happen. Number one, prayer was the first thing that David did. 
The second thing that's going to happen is there's going to be a putting off. And the third thing that's going to happen is a pursuit. And so firstly, you recognize that David shifts his mindset and he says to the priest, bring me the ephod. And the ephod had different stones that were on it, but David wanted to get a clear answer from God. And that's why he asked for the ephod, because the ephod was known to be an oracle of God. And so he said, I'm going to ask God a clear answer. And I want a, a clear question rather, and I want a clear answer. And so David asked God, he said, shall I pursue? And God gives David a clear answer, saints of God. He goes into prayer and God gives him a clear answer. He says, you shall pursue. Pursue, and he says, for thou shalt, what? Prophetic. This is prophetic, brethren. It's prophetic tonight. You shall overtake them. And without fail, you are going to recover all. So God gives David a clear answer as to what his next step is, even though he's in pain, even though he's having difficulty, even though he's having trials and tribulations and pain, he knows he has got to pursue. What does pursue mean? The dictionary says, brethren, pursue is to follow in order to catch them. This is the mindset we're going to have over the next few days. We are following in order to catch them. We are following in order to attack them. We are going with an intentional mind as the people of God to overtake, to capture, to defeat, to accomplish. And this is the attitude that we need to have if we expect restoration. In order for restoration to happen, there has to be an act of recovery. The Bible tells me, saints of God, that David took, my God, 600 men with him. And when they reach a certain part of their journey, they reach a brook called Resor. And the Bible says that 200 of them passed the Hayden. 200 were so tired, they didn't want to go any further. And it tells me that not everybody, brethren, not everybody is going to have the passion and the desire or even the fortitude to understand the importance importance of recovery and restoration. Not everybody knows how to recover. Not everybody knows how to restore. And so when you get down into prayer and fasting, house of refuge, there is a certain set of people that is part of the army that is going to recover those who have left, recover those who are lost, recover those who are blind, recover those who are halt and lame as the word of God says. There is a special set of people in the house of God that know how to recover and that have the ability, my God Almighty, to restore. My God, Amen. soldiers know how to go in the enemy's camp. Not everybody knows how to handle themselves in the enemy's camp. They'll get distracted along the way. And remember, the Bible tells us a story, saints of God, that Achan was in the camp and he got distracted by what he saw. The Bible says he took up off my God Almighty what he shouldn't take up because he was what distracted. Not everybody can go into my God the stripping parlor. Not everybody can go into the bar. Not everybody can go into the enemy's camp and take back what the enemy stole because they'll get distracted. So there are certain people that are in the army of the living God that God has Amen. set aside Amen. that know how to recover. Hallelujah be to God. And they go in my God Almighty trying to pursue, but there had to be a putting off. Some people couldn't go with them. Some people could not get into the enemy's camp because they may just end up like Achan, taking something back with them that they should not. Amen. The Bible tells us, saints of God, that when Israel was trying to win the wars past the Hayden, they kept on failing, kept on failing, and they had to seek God and ask, what is going on? God said, there's sin in the camp. And they had to go search in the camp to clean it out for, for them to go forward. Oh, have mercy. I won't, I, I won't go there tonight. My God, why, 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 why are some churches so stagnant? Sin is in the camp. Yes, yes, tonight. We have to go down into to, to clean out some things. Not everybody can be in everything in the church. We have to use wisdom. That's right. yeah. Operation, restoration, recovery, and restoration. The Bible says that the 600 go, and when they reach this brook, my God Almighty, uh, uh, 200 says, I can't do this. And so only 400 were able 
to go forward and to actively pursue the enemy. We got to pray. We got to put off and we have to pursue. Restoration, brethren, tonight can only be done once we recover. I wanted to let somebody understand that restoration is something that is very unique and very special. When you begin to look at the word of God, the word of God says that you should go to the highways and the edges and you should call the, the lame and the halt and the blind and you should seek those, my God, that have a need for God. I know that there is somebody in the community, saint of God, that have a need for God. Somebody needs God. My God, tell somebody who need God to come to church. Tell somebody who need God to find themselves at the house of God because what they are missing, God has the ability to restore when you, when, when you think of a carpenter, the carpenter will take something that has no value in it. He will take something that looks as if it's broken, as, as if it's messed up, as if it has, it, 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 there's no use to it. And the carpenter will begin to clean it off. He'll examine it. He'll clear off the dust off of it. He will begin to strip off the pieces. My God Almighty, that seem to have been damaged. And come on, think about God and us tonight, brethren. God is going to do what? He's going to examine us. Thank you, Jesus. He's going to, he's going to clear us off. He's going to clean us off. He's going to strip off the pieces that have been damaged the emotional baggage, the, the, the mental damage. He's going to strip off some things off of us uh, because you may not see your value, brethren. The world may not see your value. Your family may not see your value, but the one person that you can count on, saints of God, that will know your value and see your value is Jesus Christ. Because why? He knows that you are fearfully and wonderfully made and marvelous are the works of his hand. They may be a stripper, but there is value there may be a murderer, but there is value. There may be a homosexual, but there is value. You may have been abused, but there is value. Jesus will see the value. And that's the reason why saints of God, we should not be afraid to tell this gospel to anyone. Why? Because if they get in contact with God, they will never be the same. If they were halt, my God Almighty, he has a way to fix them. If they were lame, he knows a way to restore her their ability to walk. If they were blind, he can restore their ability to see. My God, if they are broken hearted, he has a way of healing. God is in the business of restoration and a house of refuge. The backsliders of Bull Bay. My God Almighty, I am calling them back in the name of Jesus and the house of refuge. A place where there is safety. A place, my God, where there is love. A place where there is someone with humility to receive them. is going to have their open arms waiting. Why? Because you are the house of refuge. I want the saints of house of refuge. My God Almighty to understand you are not in an ordinary place. You're not in an ordinary ministry. God has placed you there to open up your arms and welcome those who are hoarse and lame and sick. My God Almighty who have been damaged and who have been broken. God has placed you there. My God Almighty to be someone who understands. You don't judge a book by its cover but once you know their story you can begin to say yes even in your story god has a way to change a chapter god has a way to change the next chapter in your life if you will just yield to him you may have a past i'm talking to somebody tonight you may have a past but i can guarantee that if you step into god you will have a different future that's the god that we serve Every history, every history you have, saints of God, God has a way to recover and restore. Restore you to your original purpose. Restore you to your original value. That's the saints of God. The only one that can see value is the one that creates you. God will look inside of you amongst your tears and your pain and he will pull out the value out of you he will reshape you he will finish you that is the one that is going to restore their value yes my god the bible tells me <laughs> thank you god the bible tells me a story of a young man who said to his father give me everything give me what belongs to me and he walks out of his father's house because he has some misconception 
that he can do this on his own. And that is the trap of the enemy that has trapped the minds of many young people, many young children and many women and young men. Look at who oh. the enemy came after in the camp. He didn't come after the, oh, come on, help me Jesus tonight. Look at who the enemy came after in the camp. He didn't come when they were there and they were armed. He came when they were, when those who were armed were gone. He came in unawares when those who weren't there to protect them were there. I would to God you would understand that we have to pray and put a hedge around our families, pray and ask God to protect them because not every one of them know how to fight the spiritual warfare that we are in. It was when the, the, the men were gone that the enemy came in. The Bible tells me it was the women and the children who they took as prisoners of war. That's the future they're playing with. That's the future they're playing with, saints of God. They're playing with your future. They're playing with your heritage. They're playing with your bloodline. But why can God, why can God tell David to pursue and that without fail, that you shall recover all. He has, praise God Almighty, the master plan. He knows the church will never fail. The church triumphant brethren will never fail. And that somebody will still have to hold the bloodstained banner there in Bull Bay. The church will not fail. Bless the name of Jesus. The Bible tells me about this young man in Luke chapter 15. And it tells me that the young man said to his father, I, I want all that is mine. And I'm going to leave because I know what I am doing. Just like many who have left the church. They think they know what they're doing and that they can handle the world. And the Bible says that the young man went his way and he lived a riotous life he began to do and, and examine and to enjoy himself but one day all that he had the talent that he had by God Almighty began to by God just to, to leave him the friends he had began to leave him the, the, the things that he thought were valuable began to leave him what he didn't understand saints of God is that his value was never wrapped up in the things that he had his value was never wrapped up in the, the, the people who he knew but rather his value was owned because God placed value on his life. And so the word of God says he found himself eating with pigs. And so there are many people that are in a state right now, brethren, they're in the pig pen and they're wondering if they can come back. House of refuge, are your hands open? House of refuge, are your doors open? House of refuge, is your heart open? There are some people who are wondering, can I come back? Where can I go that I can receive the opening arms of the home? Almighty God of the people of God. House of Refuge is your doing open. House of Refuge is your heart open because somebody wants to return. We have Operation Restoration this weekend. Are you ready to get somebody back? Are you ready to receive them? My God Almighty, in the name of Jesus. And the word says the Father was standing. Oh God Almighty, the Father was standing by the door waiting waiting for his son to return past the Hayden. And when he saw his son come in, he asked the missionary, missionary, my God, go and get the robe. Evangelist, go and get the robe. And when the son came back, almighty God, don't forget we're in restoration. We're in recovery. Thank you, Jesus almighty. I'm calling back the backsiders of Bull Bay tonight. In the name of Jesus, I may be far away, but my voice is in Bull Bay tonight. And I'm calling but the backsliders in the name oh, yeah. and say of God the Bible tells me hallelujah that the father had a robe ready to receive him because he saw him afar off ministers you have to have the vision my God you have to know the mission to look for and to go out and to recover and to welcome home the people of God the church is about to take its flight and somebody needs to come home hallelujah somebody needs to come home somebody get back in line with God somebody needs to be restored vision come on have the vision have the vision operation oh. Restoration. Yes. Operation restoration. Yes. Hallelujah. Thanks be to God. The Bible yes. says that he gives the, the young man the robe, saints of God. And when he gets the robe, he covers him up. Uh, I'm here, I'm here to warn somebody. The word says there was another brother. Mm. Yes. There was another brother. Pastor
the head in that when restoration season was coming up, there was a other brother. That when you saw that you put on the robe on the on the young man, when he saw that you welcomed him home, when he saw that you that, 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 that you took took them back in, he began to get jealous because it, what I've been here all this time, Pastor Hayden, and you you haven't done that for me. He was already in the kingdom, but he could not see the value of his brother returning home. He could not see, he couldn't understand his father's action. I'm here to plea with the people of the house of God that you have got to walk the vision understand the vision understand the value do not be the other brother do not be the other brother because God is setting the church to receive those who are coming back hallelujah hallelujah yes Jesus we have some prisoners of war brethren many Many of them are unable to move forward. Many of them, because of their trapped in, by their experiences, they're, they're, they're stuck in an emotional situation. They, they feel as if they don't know if they can come back. They don't know if, they, if they're going to be accepted. They, 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 they think the next step is impossible. And we have to acknowledge, brethren, that we, we, we can't allow our brokenness to limit us. Maybe you don't know what to say to somebody. Maybe you don't know how to encourage them. But the words that came to my heart, Virgin, don't let your brokenness limit you. I'm not just talking to the backsliders tonight. I'm talking to the saints of God who know that the enemy has ravaged their home. Who know the enemy has ravaged their life. Don't allow our limitations in our moments of weakness, the brokenness that we may feel, to dictate the ability of God. Value is not in your brokenness. Value doesn't live, brethren, until you allow restoration to take place. The church of Christ has to move forward. But I'm telling you, like an army, we will plant a tent right here and we won't move until we recover. We're going to recover and then we're going to move forward. Forward is the direction of the church. That's why backsliding can't work. But the church the motive is to go forward. But the church has a heart. And God is calling back the backsliders. I don't know what the other preachers will preach. But the Lord said, backsliders of Bull Bay, I'm coming. The house of refuge is open. Somebody tonight... I know that there are saints in the house of God that are begging the, the Lord God above, save my family, save my children. God intervene. And like David, you're seeking God. God allow the man of God to take up this scripture. My God Almighty, the woman of God to take up this scripture. And I want you to understand that the Lord is giving direction. There has to be a mission in the house of refuge to go out beyond your doors. And recover. Operation restoration first begins with operation recover. I'm challenging the church at Bull Bay to go out beyond your doors and begin to recover. Begin to recover the broken. Begin to recover the halt and the lame and the blind. Begin to recover those who may have felt as if they've been hurt by the church. Begin to recover. Because when you begin to recover, there is going to be restoration. When God begins to restore, you can't restore. Pastor Hayden, you can't restore. No. Sister Hayden, you can't restore. The blood of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. The blood of Jesus is what restores. The, the blood of Jesus is what changes things. It's, it's the, the anointing of God and the Holy Ghost and the giving of their life that changes things. It's, that's where the restoration takes place in the relationship with God. And so there's some persons, saints of God in church that are broken. But I want you to know that this house is a place of restoration. But as we come for restoration tonight, saints, as we come and we pray, asking God to move this weekend in a mighty way, that we're asking God to take care of the whole person, the mind, the spirit, the natural, the physical circumstances. Because if we don't set our attitude like David, that we are about to go in and recover, we will never understand how God changes the life of people. Brethren, 
I'm going to challenge the saints of Bull Bay this week. If you know somebody who has been backslidden, I'm challenging you right now. And even those who are on the line, if you trust the Lord, I'm challenging you with your faith. Hallelujah. Someone who you know, your daughter is no longer in the house of God. Your son is no longer in the house of God. Is there somebody who wants to see someone return to the house of God? Do you have a family member that you desire to come back to God? I'm challenging one or two people past the head and I don't need the whole church. I need someone to understand that God is setting this assembly to have a mindset. That if I want the church to grow, if I want people to be saved, that it's not just those who are walking in off the street. We have to go and recover those who are lost. I'm putting out an altar call tonight. I'm not there physically, but I'm putting out an altar call tonight, Pastor Hayden. That if there's anyone in the house of God who has faith to believe that this message is more, this message is not only about money. This message is not just about what I can have in my personal life, but that this message is about souls. That you will come to the altar tonight and ask God to intervene in your family's life. David lost his wife. David lost his children. And David asked God, shall I pursue? God is giving the prophetic word in the ministry tonight. Go after them. Recover them. Don't be weary in well-doing because God is going to go before you. You will recover. You will not fail. But I need somebody who is not going to stop at the brook of Brisor. I need someone who's not going to give up. I need someone who will not just put down the baton. I'm here to pull somebody with us past the head end. That God is going to do and make a move in Bull Bay this week. Is there somebody that believes that? If you know that God is going to make a move in Bull Bay this week, I want you to stand up with Pastor Hayden in faith. My God Almighty, we are going to believe God tonight that God is going to make a move in Bull Bay. Praise God Almighty, Pastor Hayden. I see that the church, you have people on the outside already. People are on the chairs on the, I don't know what God is going to do and when he's going to do it. But I believe that we have to get our mindset in a way that my God Almighty, the place you have won't hold. There isn't, this isn't about preaching prosperity. It's about that God is setting you up to receive some more people and the space will be so small. You won't have space for them because you're, 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 you're the house of refuge. You're the house of refuge.
Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. There is coming house of refuge. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. House of refuge, they're coming. If I was there, I would put my hand on every minister. Pass the head and take your ministers and bring them to the altar. If you're a missionary, get to the altar. If you're an evangelist, get to the altar. If you are a minister in the house of refuge, get to the altar. Pastors that are there and visiting, I'm asking you to raise your faith and lay your hands on the ministers who are in the house of refuge because people are coming and they've got to be ready. If you're a missionary, come. If you're a Lincoln, come. If you're a Lincoln, come. If you're a Lincoln, come. You have to be ready to receive. Almighty, who God is going to send. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, house of refuge. My God Almighty, lay your hands on the men of God. Because we need the heart of the ministers. The hand of the ministers to be ready. Because they're coming. Hallelujah. The heart is coming. The lame is coming. The blind is coming. And we need our hearts to be ready. God touch down in Bull Bay in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Ready their hearts, God. Ready for service. Lord, I pray to ready my place to fill. Ready for service. Hallelujah. Operation restoration. It has been engaged. Operation restoration has started. Operation restoration is going to work. Operation restoration is a prophetic word in this house. In the name of Jesus. ready. Ministers get ready. You are a part of the recovery. Hallelujah. You are part of the recovery. Hallelujah. You have a work to do. You have a work to do. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. You can't be the other brother tonight. You can't be the other brother tonight. Come on, men of God, lay your hands on the men and women of God. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Not every soldier can last through recovery and restoration. Get them ready. Lay your hands on them. Let the blood of Jesus cover them. Hallelujah. Gain the vision of the pastor. One vision. Hallelujah. One mission. Recovery and restoration. Recovery and restoration. Recovery and restoration. Moving forward in the name of Jesus. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise God. If you're online, praise God Almighty. Worship the Lord with them as they cover the ministers of God in Bull Bay. Praise God Almighty. We are asking God just to let the Holy Ghost sit on them. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, a mission has been set. Hallelujah. And it says that they will not fail. They will not fail. He can that about Shatayo. They will not fail. Hallelujah. 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 Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. As I give the service back over to praise God the moderator, I remind you of first Peter 5 and verse 10. All of the grace of God, yes. God who has called you into his eternal glory in Christ. After you have suffered, Bull Bay, a little while, he will restore you. He will make you strong. He will make you firm and steadfast. God has set you to work. And God is going to ensure that there is no failure in you. God bless you tonight. Pastor Hayden, in Jesus' name.
Thank you, Lord, for your work. Thank you for your servant. The Lord, you have spoken through so expressively. Almighty God, I pray that you will lay your hands upon her, Lord. Anoint her afresh from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet, Lord. God, let everywhere she place her feet, let God her steps be lead, led by you. The mercies of God, I pray. In the name of Jesus, thank you tonight, Lord, for evangelist souls. Thank you, Almighty God. Grant for your grace. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Eternal God and Father, in the name of Jesus, I place evangelist souls before you. God, as she minister your words, they were not her words. But they were words that came straight from the throne above. Almighty God, I pray that you will restore strength to her as she ministers. She's not in Bulbay. The reality, Lord, as she ministered and her focus was on the backslider. Lord Almighty God, you know this community. You know that it is filled with backsliders, right, left, and center. But God Almighty, have you placed us into a position, Lord, to restore. You have placed us in a position, Lord, to be Almighty God as a prodigal father who was there, Lord, with a heart wide open to receive them back unto you. We thank you, Almighty God. Let your choicest blessings rest and abide with her now and forevermore in Jesus' name. I'm going to invite my unsafe friends, backsliders, anyone, bless God. You hear the word of God tonight. You hear the message. Hallelujah. While the message was preached, there was a word that was in it that stood out vividly to me. I was somewhere once and the Lord spoke to me and he said, rescue the perishing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Rescue the perishing. Care for the dying. Just come straight across the altar here. Praise the name of Jesus. Come Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are the reason why we're here. The intention is not otherwise. Jesus came to seek and to save that which was lost. What a message. What a reminder. Bless God. That you are the reason why we're here. Deacon Brown will do this portion of closing. Deacon Brown in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. You have heard the word of God. Thank you, Jesus. And you, praise God, did not come, praise God, in this house today, praise God, and your home. You came, praise God, because the Lord himself, praise God, has brought you here. Praise God, thank you, Jesus. And as you stand, praise God, at this altar, this moment, praise God, I want you, praise God, just to close your eyes and picture Jesus on that old rugged cross. Praise God. He's here, praise God, to save you. Praise God. He alone is able to save you. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. And he's here right now. Even at this at this moment. He's here. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. To save you. He's here, praise God, to restore you. Come to him, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. We are in the closing of time, praise God. God is about to put in his appearance. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And just look to the Lamb of God. Just believe God as you stand at the altar. Just close your eyes. Bow your heads while I pray with you even at this moment. Lord, our God, 
the everlasting Father and the Prince of Peace. We thank you tonight, Lord God Almighty, for your servant, your daughter, whom you have used, Lord God Almighty, to deliver your words. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God Almighty, that you'll touch and continue to strengthen her. Oh, Oh, God Almighty, I pray for your children, Lord God Almighty, even at this altar of this moment. Lord God Almighty, some Lord God Almighty has walked away from your presence, oh God. But Lord God Almighty, you're calling them, oh God Almighty, to be back in your bosom. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus that you'll touch them, Lord God Almighty, from the crown of their head to the soul of their feet. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that you'll restore them, Lord God Almighty, back unto me. Lord God Almighty, hold of refuge, your place is Lord God Almighty in the midst of this community. It is here, Lord God Almighty, that souls, oh God Almighty, will come unto you. Lord God Almighty, I pray in the name of Jesus that you'll touch Lord God Almighty every soul of this altar right now. Those, Lord God Almighty, who have walked away from your presence. Those, Lord God Almighty, who have not yet known you. I pray, God Almighty, that you touch, Lord God Almighty, and you will reveal yourself, Lord, unto them, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord God Almighty, I pray that you touch them right now. Stretch forth, Lord God, your nails towards hand. Stretch forth, Lord God Almighty, your powerful healing hands, Lord God Almighty. Cause them to know and to realize, Lord God Almighty, that you are the everlasting Father. And that you alone, Lord God Almighty, is able to restore them back unto me. Lord God, take over now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we look to you, Lord God Almighty. For you, Lord, is the author and the finisher of our faith. You alone, Lord God Almighty, is able to deliver and set free. Set your people free right now. Let your people cry out in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that I am healed, I am healed, I am healed. Oh, Lord God Almighty, cause your people to surrender unto you, O oh God. Who alone is able to deliver and set free? Take over now, Lord. Take full control, oh God. Get your glory, get your praise now, and let your will be done. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we look to you, glory to God. We look to you, oh Lord, and we give you thanks. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Musician, musician, just one more. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. One night, I was in church. I was not yet saved. And I was standing at the heart and was wanting to hear. The pastor says, you're one. Yes. It's ready. And that night, I did not hear it. And I went home, praise God. And I did not feel happy. But I went back to church. And I was listening, listening for the same statement to be made. Praise God. And God bless my soul. I heard it that night. And I give it up unto the Lord. Yeah, right. And even after this day, right. I am walking with God. Hallelujah. Is the one at this heart of your pain? Is the one? Is the one who wants to surrender to God? Is there one who has not yet known Christ and want to surrender? Is there one, praise God, who was in the presence of God but has walked away out of the presence of God? Is there one? 
Is there one? My God I am saying tomorrow. 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 My God. It's a promise to no one. Tomorrow is not promised to no one. What am I saying? This boyfriend cannot help you. This girlfriend can't help you. Only the Almighty God, He alone is able to see. Is the one that is standing at this hand. Can I see by the raising of your hands? Are you ready to walk with Christ? The Lord is going to put in his appearance. Anytime, anytime. Can you just know? The time is short, brethren. The time is short. And God, the Bible says that he rather not the death of a sinner. But that all come to repentance. Will you repent today? Will you draw near to the Lord today? Will you raise your hands, praise God, by faith and believe God that He will see you through from this time forward? God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Praise God. The warning of Kano. God bless you. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Why won't you come? Why won't you come? Are you heavy laden? Heavy laden, come. Are you lost? Not from Jesus. Jesus died. Died to save you. Are you heavy laden? Come. Why won't you come? Oh, 